first and foremost I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior whose name is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Wahavakar Kodash the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh his son's name is Yahweh Shai and who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning in the hopes of being saved with him these last days all right this lesson is going to be called the elect more so I always like to keep it subtle and humble the hopeful elect are being refined and that's a fact the hopeful elect are being refined okay let's go to first peters 5 and so like your 4 and 12 beloved so it says beloved there's something beloved is favored so you have a beloved that are upon the earth today think it not strange concerning the fiery trial right so brothers in this truth what are they gonna what are they gonna experience fiery trials fiery tests you bear me just a minute this is what oh, I just lost it this is what brothers go through in this truth fiery trials okay and it's not to destroy them so let's quickly type this in and see what comes up Strong G 4451 Purosis Purosis It says parosis Pyrosis Pyrosis in the Greek Pyrosis a burning of the burning in by which metals are roasted and reduced by a figure drawn from a refiner's fire right and that's the hope for it they're that gold that's being referred some are lacking unto gold some are lacking unto silver and precious stones okay so that's how we got to see this calamities or trials that test the character so when these things do happen because what we're being put in that fire right and that's not a beautiful process just like when you're washing clothes the ancient way of washing clothes what would you do you go to the sea you would go to a stone within the sea or a river and you would beat whatever it be whether it was a shirt whether it was your garment you would beat it hard upon a stone right and it would get all what the impurities and the the blemish and all the dirt off it so that's what Yahweh is doing to his elect from Strong's definition smelting okay conflagration calamity as a test right burning trial right so these things are what to build up his elect if you're not of the elect well you will not stand but if you are Yahweh is able to what Bring you out the other side. So we're going to go back to First Peter 5, 4, so lucky, and 12. The fiery trial, which is to try you. So it's a test. It's always been a test. Right? It doesn't mean you're not a man of the Lord because you're going through these things. It's because you are. Okay? To try you as some strange, some strange thing happen unto you. Well, why did this happen? So you can't see it as a strange thing why because you're in the truth right that's why it's happening you're not in the world no more yeah you have people that suffer that go through things in the world but they don't understand why they're going through what they're going through okay we understand okay some strange thing happened unto you but rejoicing so much as you are partakers of Mashiach suffering so we're supposed to be rejoicing at these things that happen okay because we understand why it happens Right, when his glory shall be revealed, okay, you may be glad also with exceeding joy when your shall makes his return. If you be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of the Most High rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of the scoffers, the mockers. They ridicule us, they look at this truth in a particular way, okay. So, yes, on our part, he's what evil, on their part, he's evil spoken of. 
but on your part he is glorified because that's what we're what set up to glorify you how we have a shine okay this is why we're alive to glorify you how about sham you have a shine okay so there's more okay i was going to go into the book of Sirach, but we're not going to go into all of it okay go into a bit of it now then we go into something else go to Ecclesiastes and there's always something to learn through these trials always something you can gain and what's the main thing you gain is experience right go to Ecclesiastes 2 as it says in Ecclesiastes 2 start at the top my son if thou come to serve the Lord Jehovah I was shy prepare thy soul for temptation so it's going to be a constant thing constant Set the heart around and constantly endure. So that's what we're supposed to do. Constantly. It doesn't just say sometimes or it's just it's gonna be all the time. Right? Different scenarios. And constantly endure. Make not haste in the time of trouble. Don't dip. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end. And that's how you become increased. At the last end. Why do you become increased? Why? Because you you stood firm right so that's how you increase right it doesn't say jump jump straight in your car and <laughs> you just jump straight in your car no i never signed up for this a lot of men have that mentality because they're not soldiers for you have a shy whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when i change to a lower state because we're going to have them times where we're very very low in the spirit because you're low in the spirit it doesn't mean you're not a man of your highway you have a shy Others may see it that way because they're carnal. Don't worry about what they think. Oh, he was he's he's low today. He was uh he was in good he was in a good spirit a couple of days. Well, hold on a minute, bro. It's called balance. And when you're brought down to the, the lower state, that's when it matters the most. That's when you have a shy seeing. Okay. Well, how is he gonna react? Is he still gonna believe? Okay. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So that gold is continually tried in that fire, dipped in that fire. Okay. Constantly being dipped in that fire. Okay. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So you're acceptable. Not all of Israel are acceptable to go through certain things we have to go through. Not all of Israel are acceptable. That's why they scoff. That's why they mock. Because they're not going through it. So they say, well, well I wasn't going through that. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe you need to pray them. If you feel you're not going, if you've been in this trip, you've just been coasting. Nothing's been happening. You may not been growing. You may need to pray. Okay. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And the adverse, the adverse one is called Shatan. Okay, that what uses men's vessels to what be adverse to what the truth. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and I shall trust in him and trust in him. Right? So that's that's what we have to do continually. And at the end of it, you're able to what gain more experience, learn of these things, and it's what is added to your spiritual CV. Okay. So we went into that. Let's go to Matthew 3 and 12. Okay. This is Matthew 3 and 12. Uh, you start at 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Speaking of John the Baptist. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Okay, to put on. Okay, speaking of Yahabashai, he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay, the Holy Spirit and with fire so what's that fire affliction trials a man can't just you can't you just want to you want a position 
you want all this knowledge well there's there's a there's a price that comes with that there's a price that comes with attaining this knowledge getting more knowledge getting more wisdom okay so if you want these things what you go through are experiences okay whose fan is in his hands and he will thoroughly purge his floor so sometimes he fans that fire yes you have it fans that fire and it's like ah it's hot okay whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor right israel which he's purging and gather up the wheat into its garner which is going to be kept for salvation but will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire which is what the wicked the residue of the wicked okay so that purging is for our betterment because if you're not being purged right what's going to be remain just just a nigger just a nigger that knows the truth and there is a lot of niggers in this truth i never thought it'd be this bad there's a lot of niggers amongst us that are not trying to and we all got little ten niggerly little niggerly tendencies but i'm talking about there's niggers in the truth grimy ass niggers okay betraying to be men and lords okay but their actions prove what different so that's what Yahushua is doing he's purging what he's elect okay so now let's go to Isaiah 48 and 10 Okay, this is Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee. Okay. And we're going to go into that word refine. I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So a lot of our people, yes, they're being refined. The hopeful election. Not a lot of our people, the few. Okay, go into that word refined. To make cultivated, that's how you become more, more cultivated, more balanced, more disciplined. To bring over deuce to a pure state. You see? Because Yahweh is looking for his brides that are what? In what? White. Okay. Pure. Okay. And a condition of purity as full as possible. Of metals purifying from what is coarse, low, vulgar, inelegant. Because yes, we were low, we were vulgar, we were inelegant when we were, when we were walking in the ways of the Gentiles. Okay. And it makes us what more cultivated. Okay. Cultured, refined, educated cultivation. Purest, most refined. Yeah, so that's what you have shows doing. <laughs> okay. You always got to look at these things because we tend, the Western world has always taught, Esau has taught our people to, anything bad that happens, look at it in a negative light. Mm -mm. You got to be able to, to gather the good stuff out of what you go through, even in bad situations. Right? Well, what, what good came out of it? See, a spiritual man's going to think like that. Okay. So I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in a furnace of affliction. Right? So even Isaiah, yes, he was chosen in the furnace of affliction. Just like the rest of the prophets. Right? I can't speak for everyone, but yes, this is this referring to the hopeful elect. We're going to go through things. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 6. But at the end of it, you're able to see, wow, that's what Yahavashah was doing. And you gain more experience experience that others may not have even some that may have been in, in, in the truth longer than you but you're able to gain that experience and become what a better teacher a better prophet and just better all around in your life okay wisdom of solomon three and where where was it? Where was it? Where is it? Okay, you know what? I was gonna start at three. No, you know what? Start at six as gold in the furnace. Have you tried rem? 
Okay, he's elect and received them as a burnt offering. So Yahweh still does delight in offerings, but reasonable offerings, reasonable sacrifices. All right? And receive them what? Them as a burnt offering. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine. And this is referring to those that what pass away in the truth and run to and fro like sparks in spiritual powers. And among the stubble, they shall judge the nations that have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. So that's going to be what? That dominion, that first dominion, that first, what part of that first resurrection, reigning for the thousand years. Okay. And they that put their trust in him, Yahweh shall understand the truth. So those that have trusted Yahweh and continue to trust in Yahweh they were going to understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy are to his saints, and he have care for his elect. He has great Yahweh has great care for his elect. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, their wicked imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh So what do we what, what are we gonna keep doing? Is believe in Yahweh Yahweh Right? But the elect are definitely being what refined. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying, and until the next time, Shalom.